Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I've done a full face of luxury makeup products that are worth the hefty price tag in my opinion. Buying luxury products can be kind of tricky because you're spending all this money on a product, you don't know if it's gonna be worth it or not. A lot of them can just be easily replaced with drugstore products or even just more affordable products in general but all the products I've used today, I really feel like I haven't been able to replace them. I love using them every time I use them. They do what they say they're going to do. The price tag matches up with the function, the finish, even the packaging. All of these products are really something special to me that I couldn't just replace with something else. These are my most favorite recommendations, but just a little disclaimer, just because something works for me or I love something doesn't necessarily mean it would work for you. My style is honestly pretty reflective. The makeup that I'm wearing today, I'm more of a soft kind of glam girl. I'm not really too heavy or dramatic with my makeup. So if you're into that kind of thing, you're probably gonna love all these products as well. But I've spent a lot of money on makeup that has not been worth it. And so I wanna make sure you guys do not waste your money. So if you want to only spend money on products that are truly amazing, keep on watching. Before we get into it today, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the bell notification. It really does help me out more than you know. But yeah, let's get right into the video. First things first, we are starting with a little bit of skincare, and I'm quite picky when it comes to skincare, especially when it comes to expensive luxury skincare, because I do believe there are a lot of really great skincare products that are not going to break your bank. But I do have one item here that is very luxury, but in my opinion, very worth the money. This is the Dior Capture Total Serum. Typically with luxury skincare, I do find that the ingredients are not often really put into the highest consideration, especially when it comes to clean ingredients. A lot of more luxury brands have a lot more chemicals and fragrances and all that stuff, which can be fine if you're into that thing. But for me, I'm kind of on a bit of a clean skincare kick. So when I put this product into Yucca and it came up with an excellent rating, I was quite surprised. When I wear it on its own, it makes my skin look so radiant and tight and firm and plumped and just juicy. I have been very much obsessed with this and I do believe it is worth the money. It's a little bit more on the expensive side. I believe it's $125. Everything I mentioned is going to be in Canadian dollars for reference. I did put a little bit on my skin earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more pump of this just to juice up my skin again. So I'll just put a little bit in my hand rub them together and press that into my skin. It does have a scent, but in my opinion, it is not too overpowering. I actually find it quite pleasant and I do bring this down my neck as well. For me, I'm more of a skin tint type of girl. So I have two here that I absolutely love. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And if you've watched any of my videos before, it's likely that you know this is one of my all time favorite products. I purchased this with my own money. I will continue to repurchase this with my own money. I've gone through maybe four or five bottles of this at this point. And if they ever stop selling it, I will 100% stockpile it so that I never run out. This skin tint is $63. However, it does last a very long time. And the reason I love this product so much is because it just looks so natural on the skin. It has never pilled on me. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't give too much coverage, but it doesn't give too little. It just gives the perfect, very natural, my skin, but even kind of finish. I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup when I wear this, which I really love. If you're looking for the perfect tinted moisturizer and you have not tried this, I highly, highly recommend you do. I cannot say enough good things about this product. I'm using my Hourglass foundation brush to press this into the skin. And this is another luxury brush that I find is absolutely worth every penny. I use this almost every day. I just find that this shape really gives such a nice, flawless, airbrush soft finish when I apply foundation. And I don't think I'll ever go back to a regular foundation brush. This shape is just amazing. 
When it comes to concealer, there are two concealers that I want to talk about. The first concealer I want to talk about is from Hourglass. This is their Vanish Concealer. I have a couple shades here and I have the mini version, which retails for $25. The full size version retails for $49. And honestly, if you're not a pro makeup artist or traveling all the time, I would recommend that you just get the full size. I love this concealer. For my under eyes, I just absolutely adore this because it is so high coverage but it's so light underneath the eyes. I like to apply this anywhere that I want to brighten and just add a little bit more coverage and you really don't have to go in with too much. What I've applied here is plenty enough. I'm also going to apply a little bit right on this blemish that I have here. And then I'm going in with my Hourglass Concealer Brush. This is another brush that I just feel like is absolutely worth it. Underneath the eye, this fits so good. I just really love this kind of cat paw shape when it comes to complexion brushes. These brushes will also last you forever. Please invest in your tools. If you invest in the right tools, the right brushes, they will last you the test of time. As you can see, that's done such a good job, but just giving me that extra coverage without looking heavy at all. I've really applied the tiniest little bit and I really feel like it did a good job of just making the complexion look really flawless and complete. I do wanna give an honorable mention to these NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealers. I will continue to purchase these forever. I think NARS does really great complexion products and I always, always have these on hand. I always travel with them. I call them my little magic erasers. They'll cover anything. And these ones are $44, so they are a little bit cheaper than the Hourglass ones. And I do feel like they last forever because you really don't need very much product at all. Going in with contour, I really wanted to talk about the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. However, that is no longer sold, unfortunately. I'm very sad it's discontinued, but I found a really great replacement for that perfect contour shade that was in that palette. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, and this is in the shade 4N. And as you can see, this is a beautiful kind of bronzer shade for me. The reasons why I love this powder so much are firstly, the consistency. This is a powder that feels like a cream. It's truly so buttery and just easy to blend and melt into the skin. It feels so just beautiful while applying it. I also really like the finish of this powder. It's not a completely matte finish. It's more of a satin finish, definitely not too shiny or greasy or anything like that. It just gives a very natural skin-like finish, which I really like to have in a cream bronzer or in this case, a powder bronzer that feels like a cream bronzer. I'm going in with blush and I've been using this blush so often. I absolutely love the color, but I also love the formula. This is the Hourglass Vanish Blush in the shade Devoted. And this is like the perfect wearable pink for fair skin tones. I think this look also really beautiful on medium skin tones, but especially for my skin tone, I just feel like this is the perfect blush. I will show you it in action. This blush looks beautiful all on its own with no makeup on, or it looks beautiful with a soft glam or a full glam makeup look. It's very versatile in that way. The finish is like a satin skin-like finish, but the pigment is so beautiful. It's not too much, it's not too little. You can build it up. You can make it look super natural or you can really make this product pack a punch. If you're more of a powder blush person versus a cream blush person, I would highly recommend these ones. This one in particular is in the shade Ecstasy, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Pressed Powder Blush, and I love this shade so much. The reason why I think this is worth it is because I've had this for so long and it has not even close to hit pan yet. I wear this almost every day because I think the color is just absolutely breathtaking, and I will definitely continue to repurchase this shade. If they ever discontinued this shade, I would be heartbroken. I think Charlotte Tilbury really does nice powder products. So I think the bronzers, the blushes, the pressed powders are all really beautiful from Charlotte Tilbury. So if you're gonna buy anything from them, I would really recommend those. Basically, if you're looking for your perfect peachy pink powder blush, this is it. You also kind of get two blushes in one because all of these blushes come with two shades, one in the center and one kind of along the outer ring of that so you can really do a lot of different looks with this blush moving on to powder as i just mentioned i really love the charlotte tilbury pressed powders this is the airbrush flawless finish in the shade one i just keep buying these i've run through like i think three at this point i keep these in my purse for a touch up they're really, really just good solid powder for all over the face or under the eyes. I've heard some mixed reviews about using this powder for an under eye setting powder, but for me, 
It's worked so good, especially when I use a puff. It can be kind of hard for me to find a under eye powder that truly brightens just because I'm quite fair and a lot of these setting powders actually make my under eyes darker than lighter. But this one does a really good job of brightening my under eyes. For eyeshadows, I do have a few here and I'm just gonna show you my top three picks for eyeshadow palette. I personally am a huge fan of Pat McGrath. I think her eyeshadow palettes are stunning. Her matte shadows are really beautiful. This is the Mothership Velvet Liaison palette and I find this is a really good palette just for overall natural looks. It has a warm kind of color scheme and more of a cool taupey color scheme in here. So you can get a lot of looks with one palette here. But where I truly think her shadows stand out are in her shimmers, like her shimmer toppers and metallics. They're so just gorgeous and breathtaking and truly like nothing I've ever seen before. If you're able to invest in any of her palettes that have shimmers, I don't think you'd be disappointed. And then of course we have the Natasha Denona Biba palette, which is just so stunning. I love this palette. I looked on the Sephora website and it looks like this might be getting discontinued, which really scares me because this is one of my favorite palettes ever. So this palette is $174, which is a lot for an eyeshadow palette. However, you get tons of shades. If you're a neutral person and you're able to invest in a palette, this palette will create so many different looks and it will last you so long. I haven't hit pan in any of these shades yet and I use this palette extremely often and I just really love it. The Pat McGrath palette is also in that same $170 range. However, if you're going to invest in one of these palettes, if you're more of a neutral girl, I would recommend going with the Natasha Denona palette. And if you're also more of a matte, matte girl, I do think Natasha does really gorgeous shimmer shadows, but when it comes to Pat McGrath, I really just think she takes the prize for the best shimmers. So if you're a little more adventurous when it comes to color and you really like shimmers, then I would recommend investing in the Pat McGrath palette. So really these cater to two different kinds of people. I'm going in with the shade Freckle from my Natasha Denona Biba palette. And I'm just gonna run that all through my crease and on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with this metallic shade here. This is just a really nice creamy shimmer shade and I'm gonna pat that on my lid. To show you these shimmers in action, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the champagne shimmer and just pop it right on the center of my lid. I hope the camera is truly picking up the gorgeous shimmer of these shadows. They blend so easily. All the matte shadows from both of these palettes are just so easy to blend. And these shimmers, oh, they're just ethereal in person. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but in person, it's giving. For eyeliner, I knew immediately which eyeliner I wanted to talk about. This is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in the shade Coco, and this is the most beautiful, easy to blend brown liner pencil that I've ever used. I want to keep this pencil in my collection forever. The brown shade of this pencil is truly just so unique and I've never used a pencil that is this easy to blend but lasts all day long and it just feels so luxurious in the hand. It's got some weight to it. I truly think this pencil is so special. Moving on to mascara, this was an easy one for me. My favorite luxury mascara is the Lancome Lash Doll Mascara. Hands down, easy peasy. This is just so, so good. I think it gives the most beautiful, fluttery, long lashes. No clumping, never any clumping. If you're huge on a ton of volume, this mascara might not be for you. This is more so kind of like a natural, ethereal sort of vibe. I love the curved brush. It gives such a nice curl and lift to the lashes. I'm a little nervous to apply mascara because I do have some lash extensions left over and I haven't applied any mascara since I got them but let's hope it turns out okay. Normally, I never recommend luxury mascaras just because I think most of the time you can find the exact same thing at the drugstore, but this mascara is truly something special. I haven't found a drugstore replacement for it, so for that reason, it made it in this video, but for any other purpose, I would say drugstore mascara all the way, but this truly just has my heart, it's so good. Now for lips, which is one of my favorite parts of my entire makeup routine. I'm going in with my Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in the shade 02. And this shade is so 
beautiful. I just love the packaging too. It's so sleek and luxury looking. All of the shades of these lip pencils are breathtaking. They are so creamy. They apply so beautifully. They actually last very well throughout the day. I just can't say enough good things about this lip liner. I think I will always have this shade specifically in my collection. I'm obsessed. This is such a good one for overlining because it kind of gives that your lip a better look. I love to use this to really define my cupid's bow and just make my lips look more full and plump. So these lipsticks, I have two of them here. They're both by Dior. These guys right here are very different in texture and application, but I'd really just thought that they were worth it because they last all day and all night long. They do not budge, they do not transfer. It's actually kind of insane. This formula right here is their lacquer liquid lipstick. So it's a liquid lipstick that is shiny. It doesn't dry down matte and it literally does not budge. It's kind of scary. Like I can't actually remove it. I swatched some on the back of my hands. I couldn't remove it with a normal makeup remover. I had to go in with like a balm and really work it off. So you could go swimming with this. It truly is an incredible formula, and I don't say that lightly. These are no joke. Whereas these lipsticks are a bullet lipstick in a matte finish. These also do not budge, do not transfer, and nothing. These are truly, truly incredible, and I love the different colors. I just think there's so many good ones to choose from. I love the more nudie tones. This one called Desire is really gorgeous. It's just a really pretty kind of ballet core pinky nude, and I really like to finish it with my favorite lip gloss by Dior. This is their Lip Maximizer in the shade Beige, I believe. This is the shade 013. I believe it's called Beige, but this is my favorite lip gloss. It's so nice and cooling on the lips. I love the color. It really just transforms a new lip like this completely. This does retail for $54, which is a lot for a lip gloss. But if you're looking for just that truly luxury experience, that plumps, there's so many gorgeous shades in this product. So I would really recommend this. It just makes me happy every time I use it. To finish off this look, I wanna chat about highlighters. I'm using this one by Victoria Beckham. This is their highlighter stick in the shade Pearl. And can we just take a minute? How beautiful is this packaging? This is the packaging of my dreams. The formula is really pretty too. This is just a highlighter stick, but it's not like other cream highlighters I've tried. It's almost like a balm, like a glowy, glossy balm instead of a glittery cream highlighter. And what I love about it as well is that it does not disrupt your makeup, but it's still that balmy, juicy, hydrating kind of texture. It's truly unique. I have not tried anything like it. That is it for today's look using only luxury makeup that is worth it, in my opinion. I think this makeup look turned out really beautiful. This is kind of like my signature style, the natural soft glam, and all these products just worked so amazingly together. Let me know if you're going to try out any of my recommendations today. Again, everything is going to be linked down below for you guys to check out. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the bell notification. It really helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me and I appreciate it so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.